Science and Story programme was one of our community projects. We didn't actually have anything for young people that told them what this big building was going to be that was going up in their neighbourhood. So alongside Pop-Up we organised three different community groups to work with three different illustrators and a children's writer and they developed these stories all about the Francis Crick Institute. With book one what we're really hoping for is that people who live near the Francis Crick Institute will be able to identify with who Francis Crick was. The group that worked on the first book was the group from 1KX. In the 50s there were these two guys called James Watson and Francis Crick. The scientists that went along to meet the group were from Cancer Research UK's London Research Institute. DNA is the code of life. They told us more about DNA and like showed us what it looked like. DNA looks like a spiral with loads of circles around it. It looks like a big curly ladder. It's a recipe how to make you, you. The participants met two people who work here at the Wellcome Trust. Come on. A, a visitor assistant from the Wellcome Collection who gave them a tour of the Medicine Now Gallery and she showed them some artwork that related to all the different chromosomes in our bodies. How many of those bases do you think there are in the human genome? With 500 words on each page. So somewhere in all these letters, there are about 24,000 or so genes which make us who we are. The group went on to meet the librarian in the Wellcome Collection who showed them some of Crick's original papers, sketches and documents. So that is the original sketch for DNA there. This is it, this is what he thinks the world should know, this is what it looks like. Group One did lots of fun things with the illustrator. We'll have drawing sessions where we get down to business and make the different bits and pieces that we need for the book. We're going to try and use as many different pieces of everyone else's work so that everyone gets a chance of having their drawings in the book. One of the things that we had to do was draw a scientist discovering how um, he could um, like crossbreed plants and like mutate them so they could be bigger they created characters by using finger painting. Some of them look like they had hairstyles, like some looked like little old ladies. They did paintings of Rosalind Franklin's photograph 51 that shows the picture of DNA and how it was photographed. They've just been just absolutely blasting all the different activities I've given them to do and getting piles and piles of drawings from them. So I'm not at a loss for different images to choose from to put together in the book. Book two is very much about the building, what it is, why it's there. It's about the architecture, the engineering, the construction, and how all of that has been designed to help scientists work together. The group that worked on book two were from the Working Men's College, so it was a mixed group of parents and their children. They had visits from an architect and from our assistant construction director. As you come out of St Pancras Station, you'll see this mass of glass opening up. You'll see the scientists working in there, which is exciting. I mean, where can you see scientists walking around in a building anywhere else? It's not too plain and it is quite a nice, strong bit of architecture. The architects told them all about the sustainable features of the building. So what we'll be growing is, is small, small environments for, for birds and animals to sit on top of. At the top it's just steel and then they have grass for all the insects and animals and birds that want to come. So the animals could have a good habitat instead of just living in the streets. A lot of what this building is about is collaboration. So it is about talking to your neighbour. I think they learnt a lot in that first session and then we've taken that information and made it into illustrations. I'm going to be drawing a, a character that they've kind of helped design and that character comes by the building site every day and has a narrative with one of the builders there so he kind of explains to the boy what the building is. We're doing a variety of workshops and in each workshop I'm kind of doing a different double page spread. 
I came along to this workshop with my son, who's 11, and my daughter, who's eight. Normally, activities are for, are for them, but it's been great to be involved, all three of us, you know. And I got to play with clay. The group two participants also did some words and stenciling, picking out kind of key words related to the building. Tom also ran a session where he took some microscopes to the Working Men's College and the students were able to look at images of what cells look like under the microscope. Look, Grace, it works. bacteria? We've done a couple of workshops where they've all been separated and doing their own drawings, but there's something really nice where they're all working on a big sheet. I think the most fun part for me was probably drawing the germs and the uh, bacteria, diseases, cells. Yeah, um, pills and medicine. Book three concentrates a little bit more on some of the science. It looks specifically at malaria and it looks at cancer and it looks at the future of research for those two diseases. The group that worked on book three were from the Summers Town Community Association. So they were children that lived very locally to the site. Today we're going to make a page of what a scientist does in a lab all day. We can do the drawing on my drawing. And then... The book is about the disease and then what Sir Francis Crick the Institute is about. When you make medicines, just like lots of lots of procedure, you need to study a lot and then research. Two groups of scientists came for this workshop. The one is for malaria and one is for cancer. I thought there was only mosquito malaria, but there's bird malaria and monkey malaria. There's lots of types of malarias. It's really nice to see the kids learning new stuff about science, about art, or drawings. Lots of drawings of cells, lots of illustrations of scientists working in the laboratory. She's drawing uh, fruit fries, which they use for experiments. They use flies and other things which have DNA similar to us to test on. Kids are so enthusiastic and then so talented as well. I help them to teach the new technique they can use, they probably never used before. The most exciting thing about it has just been to watch the process. What I liked about this project is learning about what happens to all the cells and doing the artwork. We get to draw a lot and express our thoughts. I think it's a really good project and we should do it more. It's also really exciting for us. We've not done anything like this before and I think that the project and the idea has got huge potential. It's going to be really cool to have and like, see my drawings in a book. When I see the drawings in the book, I'll feel quite proud.